In our last video, we looked at this differential equation and we sketched its slope field. Now we're going to look at the application of that. Here's our slope field. Now we want to figure out what do we do with that slope field. And what we can do with that is sketch a solution curve. So part B of this example says sketch the solution curve. Another name for that is integral curve because by, you know, you're sketching y given dy dx, which is the y would be the integral of dy dx. We want to sketch an integral curve at 0, 0. So the key to this is to look at the big picture. Start at the point given and sketch a curve whose tangents match the slopes they pass through. So I'm going to put the graph right here and then we're going to sketch our solution, solution curve. Okay, so here is our uh, slope field, which represents possible slopes for y at particular points. I do want to point out something I did point out in the last video, which is that, you know, you can actually create even more slopes if you want to be more accurate. In this particular case, I actually put slopes at negative one-half and one-half. The idea is that you could even you could even add rows this way and create even more slopes. So there's infinitely many slopes on a slope field. And it can give you a better, uh, uh, even better curve if you have more and more slopes. But we're just going to keep it simple, and we're going to be going from negative 1 to 1. So this question says to sketch the solution curve at 0, 0. So the first thing you want to do uh, is uh, go to that point 0, 0. All right, and let's read this together. It says, look at the big picture. Start at the point given and sketch a curve whose tangents match the slopes they pass through. So basically, you want to try to draw a curve that molds around this particular slope field at this point. The reality is there's a lot of curves uh, on a, that, that make up a slope field. For example, the first uh, graph we looked at, we can see that there's multiple curves. We just want the curve to fit around that particular point so that it's the tangent of the curve matches that tangent, and every other point on the curve matches the tangents on the slope field. So it can be a little tricky at first, but it's not too hard once you get the hang of it. So when we start to sketch this curve at 0, 0, we know it's going to have a vertical tangent, right? But what you don't want to do is you don't want to go uh, the opposite direction of a particular slope. So for example, if I try to do something like this, that's not going to work because it's crossing through this slope. We want it to hug this slope and curve in such a way that its tangent matches. So we're not going to do that, right? It won't work. But what we do want to do is make it curve around the other tangents. So what I'm going to do, and again, it's not going to touch every single slope on the graph, but what I'm going to do is do something like this. I'm going to go up this way and down this way. And you can see this works because it doesn't cross through any other slopes. In other words, it doesn't make an X or anything like that. And the slopes that it does cross through, it hugs the tangent that that slope represents. So again, you know, the more of these you do, uh, the more accurate they're going to be and the easier you're going to find them. So just make sure that the, the tangents match each other. And again, the key is the starting point. Because I'm starting at 0, 0, I know that it has to start out with a vertical tangent. And then I curve around the other slopes that make sense so that it matches the tangents. That's it for sketching a solution curve. Pretty simple. If you have any other questions about this, let me know. OK, so I did want to mention one more thing about this curve in, in terms of the equation. This, is, this, is, this curve works for 0, 0. Uh, but what does this mean in terms of the equation? Well, basically what this means is if we go back to the original question, here's our question, dy dx equals x plus 1 over y. If x equals 0 and y equals 0, and we integrate this and plug those values in for x and y, uh, for x and y we can basically solve for a constant. And basically what that means is the equation once we plug in 0 for x and 0 for y, when we graph that equation, it will look like this. Now, offhand, I don't know what that equation is. It looks like sort of like a parabola, right? So maybe it's something like x equals y squared or something, and it's just a, uh, a modification of that. But that's basically what it's giving us. At 0, 0, the solution to that differential equation has a, uh, has a particular equation, and this is what the graph of that equation would look like if you were to integrate this and plug in 0 for x and 0 for y.
So that's what I wanted to say about that, so just so we can relate the graph to the equation. Because in the future, we're going to figure out how to solve differential equations without having to use slope fields.